Hi children. Now today we are going to try and understand odd numbers, even numbers. What are they? When you play games both indoors and outdoors, some games need two members, some need four, some need five and go on. Okay? So, in choosing games outside, some games are played in pairs with partners. Some are not paired up. So, it, depending on the games you will play, you will say, okay, these two are partners, these two are partners, we do not need one. So, this one you wait. For someone to get out and join in. Now, in number, today we are going to understand what is odd, what is left out, what is even, what is the meaning. Okay, that's what we are going to try and understand. Odd numbers and even numbers. Odd numbers. Odd numbers and even numbers. Even numbers. And that's what we are trying to understand today. What are odd numbers and what are even numbers? Now, when you are playing outside, Say you have friends. Friends have gathered to play games. All right. Now, You have a lot of friends come with the weekend and you want to play. Okay, now, what game are you going to play? What the normal game you play? Supposing you want to play a game oranges and lemons. What do you do? You stand in queue, in pairs. You'll hold the hand up, so you've got to stand in a line. So now you are organizing a game in the field. You are organizing. You have to stand in a line. Two by two. Now you're going to choose your partners. Okay. So now you have here one friend, and you have another one here in pair. That's your pair, and then you will stand in a line. And then you have another friend here, two together, okay, two friends together, hold hands, and then you have two more friends, here's one, and here's front. Now, you have here one, two, three, four, five, six. Supposing someone comes running in and says, Me too. Please take me too. I like to play. So we have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven friends are there. And you're going to play what game? Oranges and lemon. How do you? You'll stand in a line, you hold hands up, and your friends will pass through down. And you sing the song. So now here we have. Friends who have already paid, paired up. You have here one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven friends. And you have here one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we have one number left. One person cannot join in. So she has to find another partner. 
Now, we are talking about games we play. Different kinds of games we play. Now, supposing you want to pick some flowers. Let's say, now, let's look at these flowers. One, two, three, four, five. There are five flowers here. Okay, there are five flowers here. Now, what we have done in this is grouping. Okay. Grouping, you have group of one, two, three groups. So what we are doing in game is grouping. You have your one, one and two, got a partner, three and four, partner, grouping. And the one that is left out, we say odd, you wait, we'll play a game. Now, just look at the flowers. You go picking flowers and we are going to group the flowers. Okay? Now you are going to group in twos. You know to count in twos? One, two. A group of two. One, two. Another group of two. And then we have one left out. So, they have, this can be paired, this can be paired, this cannot. Now let's talk about your shoes. Okay? Let's talk about your shoes. You have shoes at home. You are ready to go to school. You have shoes. And here is your shoes. Okay. Now, when you talk about shoes, you talk in pairs. Alright. You talk in pairs. Now, we have a pair of shoes here. Another pair of shoes here. And you have another. Now, when you put on shoes, you always look for the pair. You can put odd shoes and go to school. Odd socks and go to school. Now, you have to school and here you pick the shoes to go to school. And your brother says, where are my shoes? Yeah, these are mine. He's, and then what happened to this one? Then your little sister says, I can't find my shoe. I have one shoe and I don't have another. Pairing. Two. Two. When you pair up two things, you have two books, two, um, two flowers, two. So we have here, we call this two. One pair, here another one, two. Another pair and this one is out odd. So we call this shoes Odd shoes, odd. We have to find the other one. Here you group two flowers, one and two. Here we group two flowers, one and two. And here you have one flower. Doesn't have a part, I cannot. Huh? Here. Here you have grouped up, one and two. One group, two group, three group. So six friends have joined together and we got three groups. Two plus two plus two. And here you have one out. Yeah, what do we have here? Two friends, then two friends, then two friends, and then we have one out. And here you have two friends, just like this. Two together, we have group two and two, and then we have one out. Same here, two and two, we have one out. Now, what are we talking about? Odd numbers, even numbers. When a number stands by itself. When a number stands by itself without a partner, then we say it's an odd number. Let us look at number 1 to 9. Okay? Now we are going to look at numbers 1 to 9. I'll write here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I have here Numbers 1 to 9. Now, let us look at number 1. The number 1 stands by itself. And so, it doesn't have a partner. And we call that number 1 
odd number. What the number? Odd number. Now number two. Number two has a partner. One plus one, two. One and one, two. And we say that is a even number. Now three. What about three? One and one joined together becomes two. Again one is out. So we say number three is an odd number. What about four? What about four? One, two, three, four. You can be paired up. And so we call that a even number. So we call that a even number. So I'm squaring up the even number. Number that can find a partner, that can be squared up, we call it even number. Now let's look at five. One, two, three, four, five. Two. And two and one left out. Two and two and one left out. Therefore, five is an odd number. So I circle here. Then six. Here we have one and two, one and two, one and two, the two, two, two. Six. Six definitely is a even number. It can be squared up two and two and two. What about seven? You have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1 and 2, 3 and 4, 5 and 6. Again, 7 is an odd. So, 7 is an odd number. Then, 8. Now, let's say 8. Here, number 8. 1, 2. 1, 2. 1, 2. 1, 2. We can 1, 2, 4, 6. Seven. It can be squared up. So, it is an even number. Now let's take number nine. Number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have nine. Here, nine. So this can be paired up. One, two, three, four. And then one is left out. Therefore, one is an odd number. Now, what we have done here is circle the odd numbers and square up the, the number that can be squared up. Two means two people come together. That's an even number. And when we have four, two and two, they are partners. These two are partners, they are partners. Six. When you talk about six, then you have, then you have one and two, one and two, one and two. They can be paired up, so it can be squared up. Then 8. When it comes to 8, again, 2, 2, 2, 2. Remember we did skip counting. 2, 4, 6, 8. So now, are you clear? What is the number that can find partner? That we call even number. Odd numbers are every other number that ends in 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. They are odd numbers because there's always one left out. It's like this. One is left out. One, two, three, four, five, six and one is left out. Here, one is left out. In this class, you see, one is left out. Two can, two and two. This can be squared. One is left out. Every time a number doesn't have a partner, then we say that is an odd number. When you play games like this, oranges and lemon, whatever, when one person cannot join in, then we say that's a odd. You, uh, you wait, you don't have a partner, you wait for someone to come. Odd number. Okay?